Hello, this is uh, Andy Gambles from Servitastic and today I'm going to talk about using HSTS to increase security and speed of HTTPS websites. So HSTS, yeah, that stands for HTTP Strict Transport Security. Now this is a response header that informs the browser that it must only connect to this website using HTTPS. So if we were to send a response header to the browser from the server, it would be in the format strict-transport-security and then have a max age. Now the max age is defined in seconds, so in this case that many seconds add up, adds up to 24 months or 2 years. So we're effectively telling the browser now that whenever it visits our website in the future that it must only ever connect using HTTPS. Now the main benefit this has is that it can help mitigate attacks such as SSL strip and man in the middle where they may try and force you to only visit the website using HTTP but the browser knows it must use HTTPS. Now you can implement this header in the vhosts file on a, in your Apache config or in Nginx or using ASP or PHP and there is many examples available on our website at support.servitastic.com slash t slash hsts but now I'm going to give you some examples of how it works and show you what it means within the browser so here we have running the Chrome net internals tab now this is just some of the inner workings of Chrome and we're interested in the hsts tab here so this allows us to see what has been stored in Chrome as what kind of sites we should only access using HSTS. So if we query a domain, or let's say PayPal, which is an obvious target for many man in the middle attacks, if we hit query there we can see that it's been found within the database within Chrome. It's got a mode of strict, uh, there's the domain there, and that tells us that we should only, the browser knows, we should only ever access this website using HTTPS. So if we check the website Servitastic, we see that that's not being found with the browser. So at the moment, the browser is unaware of the current state of Servitastic.com domain. So here we have a new tab, and within this tab I've got uh, the developer toolbar open on the network tab, and we're going to visit the servitastic.com domain. Now I've put in HTTP there and if we hit enter you can see we actually get redirected to the HTTPS. Now that's because uh, we have a 301 redirect in place for whenever our website is accessed using standard HTTP we will automatically always redirect that to HTTPS because we run servitastic 100% under HTTPS. So if we look here at the first request, we can see that was sent using HTTP and the server responded that it had 301 moved permanently. And down here we can see the new location is the HTTPS domain. So that's made sure that the user is secure by redirecting them to the HTTPS version of the website. But if we also look at the timing, we can see some interesting things here. We can see that it took 35 milliseconds to do the DNS lookup, 16 milliseconds to connect to the website, and 32 milliseconds waiting for a response from the server with one millisecond receiving that response. So all that time taken there was purely to find out that we needed to be redirected somewhere else. So if we then just move one down, this is where we've been redirected to we can see that we've got the HTTPS website, we've got a 200 OK message from this website and then down here this is where we can see our strict transport security header with a max age of two years. So we've now told Chrome that it should only ever visit this website using HTTPS for the next two years. Now if we go back to the Net Internals tab we've got Servitastic already plugged in and hit query we can see now that it's now been found with a mode of strict for our domain. So Chrome now knows that it must only ever access 
the servertastic.com domain using HTTPS. That now helps prevent users who may try to man in the middle or use SSL strip on servertastic.com because the browser will ignore any requests for it to be redirected to HTTP and will say no I've got to access this website using only HTTPS. So if we switch back to just using HTTP we can see we've been instantly redirected to HTTPS. If we go back up to the first request, now remember the first time we did this the browser went off to the server to ask for the information and we told it to 301 redirect to HTTPS. That This time that hasn't happened because the browser knows it must only use HTTPS. Therefore we've got no timing, no headers and no response. So the redirect has been instant. So that saved us those 50 milliseconds plus that it took previously for the server to tell the browser to redirect to HTTPS. So not only is our website now more secure, it's also slightly faster. And if we look back at the HTTPS response, we can see that the strict transport security header is still there and telling the browser that for 24 months from now, you must continue to use HTTPS. So hopefully that's been informative and show you how HSTS can help increase the security of your website and how it can also speed up access to your website for other users. If you've got any queries or you're interested in purchasing SSL certificates for your website, please visit www.servertastic.com.